I'm Victoria Sari and I'm a member of the Creative Club in Laboni Senior High. Our class is full of students who are very passionate about ICT and technology. And I personally, I love almost everything about ICT, from video games to programming and everything. I would like to stay up all night coding and everything rather than maybe reading some book or something. I took elective ICT part, as part of my course because I really do like ICT a lot and I want to because of the direction I'm going after SHS. In university, I would like to study computer science as my course. I would like to go into programming and some things with technology and some other things that will be helpful for me in my life. I'm Jonathan Kennedy Soa, a computer scientist and I'm the CEO of InnovTech STEM Center. InnovTech STEM Center is a social enterprise that tries to empower students with industry relevant skills in robotics, artificial intelligence, and graphic designing. In Ghana, there is a lot of unawareness in robotics education and how it can help our educational system. People tend to forget that robotics incorporates all aspects of STEM education, that is science, technology, engineering and mathematics. So the science deals with physics, the technology deals with coding, the engineering deals with building designs and stuff and then with the mathematics, deals with calculus and algebra. It's very hard that only the privileged ones, only those who are well to do, are able to get this robotics education. So, Continue. so that's why we brought, that's why we founded, I founded InnovTech STEM Center so that we can actually teach and train those at the less privileged areas in Ghana, less privileged communities. So robotics education is very expensive because of the cost, the cost of the kit and stuff. So it's like it's only affordable to the privileged people, to the rich people. So that's why I actually founded Enough Texting Center to give the less privileged ones the opportunity to hop on. Like we teach them for free. So we don't only train them like the less privileged ones. We train the privileged ones at a fee, and then we use the money to fund the ones we train for the less privileged ones. So my journey in robotics started here, in this school, Laguna Senior High School, in 2015. So I actually wanted to be a medical doctor, so I did science, that is physics, chemistry, elective math, and physics, chemistry, elective math, and biology when I came to my first year. But during the first year, we were reshuffled into different classes and then I got geography. <laughs> so I wasn't able to, I wasn't able to like, I didn't know, I, I wasn't comfortable. So I started developing like a negative attitude towards school because I went to the administration to let me do my biology but I wasn't allowed. So I was like, all my hope to be a neurosurgeon was gone. So I had to learn something, I have to start something afresh, since this is my faith. So I realized that there were a lot of new technologies in town. And then ICT, that is information, communication and technology, wasn't really serious here in Ghana. The teaching of it wasn't really serious here in Ghana. So we started a club. We called it the Creative Club, Creative Technology Club. And then we we go out, we went around, and then we recruited students. So we, the seniors that had knowledge in IT, we teach the genius. 
we go online, YouTube, search for videos, tutorials, and PDFs on what we teach and we teach. So we started getting a lot of attention from the school because we, win, we go on competitions, we win awards, sometimes we lose. So this is how it all started. The journey has been very challenging because the awareness of robotics education here in Ghana is very low. So we started with one kit. I actually got a kit from a friend, a very good friend, who borrowed it to me. So I started with it. I got contracts to go and teach other schools and stuff. So when I was teaching, the money I was getting, I was saving them. I was saving the money. So when I see that, okay, the level average can buy a kit, then I go and buy another kit. Then I continue. Then I recruit people, I train them, then we teach together. So we realized that people aren't really prepared. Like when they graduate from the university, and then they enter the job market. They are, they, they weren't prepared at all. So this is where we said, okay, then we have to start from primary. We teach coding, primary, GHS, SHS. So we started with, I started with my former school, GHS school, primary school at station. So I go there, I teach them coding from scratch, Python and stuff. Then I come here to another former school and then I teach them robotics and stuff and then with the coding. So that's it. And then sometimes I want to go to other schools, but the bureaucracy in the public <laughs> educational system, <laughs> it's very high. You have to really like pay some people to do things for free here. So I channeled my energy to the less privileged ones, like I work directly with community centers, private organizations, and then private schools, so that we organize, and then churches too, so that we organize for the people and then we do. Since we started, we trained ourselves, we went for competitions. 2017, we went, went to Regent University to have like a, an innovation challenge and then we also won. So we were actually awarded here in the school. And apart from that, most of the people I started with have been able to get scholarships to study in various schools in Ghana. So it's one of the highlights. And then some of our students are so much like they are actually building stuff. Recently one three of the three of our girls built a smart sanitizer dispenser. We also have other projects that other people are building. I don't want to mention it now. <laughs> STEM education is the answer of every problem we are facing in the world and building people to have these kind of skills will actually help us. You can support us through sponsorships. We need laptops, we need robotics kits, Arduino, Lego, Vex. We need we need a space to have currently we don't have a permanent space so we move to schools and stuff. So we need a permanent space where people can come in, brainstorm and then work together. Yeah.